So hi guys, in this video I'll be telling you how to install Cherish OS 4.1 based on Android 13 for Redmi K40 Poco F3 or Mi 11X. So the prerequisites are, you need to be on MIUI and the latest version which is 13.0.8 and on global firmware. So, and if you're on any custom ROM based on AOSP then you'll have to flash a 13.0.8 firmware. And after that, you need to do me a password and security by going into screen lock and typing your password and click on turn off screen lock this is going to turn off your password and security and then you need to remove your MI account you need to remove your Google accounts once all of them are done you can do a reboot now you need to have these files in your internal storage which is the cherish OS ROM zip that's it and you need to have orange fox recovery installed which is the latest version the 26 September's build so assuming you've done all of them, we can do a reboot to recovery. Power off your phone. And reboot into recovery by pressing power and volume up button. So once your phone's booted into recovery, you're good to go. Now head into wipe, select your Lali card cache and then swipe to wipe. And then now go back, go into files. Select your Cherish OS ROM zip and all you need to do is check the reflash orange fox after flashing a ROM and then swipe to install. So installation is going to take some time so please wait patiently. So once the flash is completed, check if there's any errors in the step 1 and step 2 and the fail to mount errors can be ignored and the recovery has been flashed successfully. So now head into menu and click on reboot and click on recovery. So once your recovery is booted, head into wipe, format data and type in yes. This will result in wiping out all your pictures, videos stored in your phone. So once the wiping out is done, click on reboot system and wait for your phone to get to rebooted into Cherish OS. So your ROM is booted, welcome to your pixel. Click on get started. So while the ROM is booted and the uh, wallpaper looks pretty good. Now first things first, let's put it to 120Hz from the QS panel. And click on the refresh rate to so change to go 120Hz. Now let's go into settings and check about the kernel version and the Android version. So the Android version is 13. And the kernel version they are using is MNCTX and the latest Android security update has been installed which is a October 15 patch, October 5th patch. And we have the information about battery and chipset and even display. So let's head back and head into the Cherish OS settings. So the status bar, double tap status bar to put to sleep and background chip, network traffic indicators. I don't know what exactly it is, but it's something in a new feature. So battery percentage when charging. So always display battery percentage when your phone is being charged. Battery percentage hidden or inside the icon, which is not visible though. So clock style is you can either keep the this is pretty buggy. So yeah, very close. So doesn't look good. Center. Center you can see nothing, I don't even know why this option is there. So let's just put it to left which is default. And we have the icons and many and many other things which are just common. I'll set in the quick settings. We have the QS transparency. So decrease the transparency, you'll be able to see what's behind. So let's put it to zero. And you can just see everything what you're doing. And 50, yeah, but I don't see a big difference in reducing them. And quick QS pull down, so pull status bar from right side. I don't know what that is. So let's just put it to disabled. And let's head into themes. 
Yeah, first time opening you have a bit stutters. That can be ignored. So we have dark theme, manan theme. There are stutters inside the themes. So we have icon packs and icon shapes and a signal icon style, Wi-Fi icon style which can change your icon styles, which is pretty common. Let me just keep my phone in the middle so that the video is clear. So in the buttons we have the hardback keys and navigation bar and the animations we have power menu animation which I guess is let's put it to bottom. So we're gonna get the power menu animation on bottom, top and as follows and let's try 3D. And let's try turn. So yeah, I feel 3D is good, so I'm gonna keep that. And next we have the lock screen, which has the edge lightning, and hide power menu on lock screen, hide status bar always on display, which should be there. And we have the power menu where we can enable advanced reboot options such as screenshot settings, lockdown, emergency users, and lockout and notifications you have kill app button reticker and vibrate on connect vibrate on disconnect vibrate on call waiting and let's go to miscellaneous we have launch music app on headset connection so when you connect your headset to the phone your music app is going to launch and ignore window secure flags we have the click to partial screen and we have app lock which i haven't seen in quite a few roms and we have unlock higher fps in games so we are going to get that 90 fps in pubg and some games which is not available and we have unlimited photo storage so you're going to have you can store unlimited photos in your uh, device so that's it about the rom and coming to the heating and battery performance battery and performance this rom is pretty good with the immensity external and the uh, heating is pretty good when you game about 30 to 40 minutes the phone reaches to 40 to 46 degrees celsius and the geekbench results are multi-core 2937 which is good and single core 1003 which was pretty high this time and the Antutu to score is 6,60,000 which is decent for a my 11x and the device is stable without any bugs till now and we have the google discover and the slides without any stutters so okay so that's all for this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe bye